Hey guys, welcome back. As you know, I have been away for a little while, not making any content. Personal reasons, um, we're moving house, I've been really, really busy, um, I haven't done any guns to review, a bunch of different things that have meant that I haven't been able to make any content for you. I think, however, we've remedied that today. I am here at uh, the invitation of Browning UK to come to this, uh, the, uh, the first of the uh, Browning tour um, at Bible Shooting Ground. We've got pretty much all of Browning's new guns here today for me to have a go at um, and uh, a few celebrities, we've got Sam and uh, the guys from Browning that we're going to maybe have a chat to later on. I'm going to be um, basically doing a quick look on all of the new models that I can get my hands on today and I'm going to release that content to you over the space of the next few episodes. Um, we have cop blast to shoot whatever I want, so uh, yeah, let's get at them. Hey guys, uh, this is the first of four quick look videos that I'm doing at the uh, Browning Tour at Bywell. I am starting with the Miracu MK11 um, and what I'm going to start on. Uh, this new game gun from Miracu is a bit of a departure. It's based on uh, an action that's kind of all new. It's, um, it looks like a 725 but the internal parts are different. We've got an inertia trigger rather than mechanical and it's about 4 mil lower which they reckon gives you better target acquisition and it also affects the balance of the gun. Um, it is really really nice to shoot. I've only obviously had a chance to um, spend a little bit of time with each of these guns today but initial impressions are that it is just lovely. Um, it soaks up recoil really nicely and is a genuine play to shoot. Nice and nimble but not too much. Um, a really, really corker of a game gun. Seven and a half pounds, a little bit heavy, but does mean that recoil management is excellent. So if we start with Invector Plus Chokes um, in a 30 inch barrel, comes down as well available in 28. Solid mid and top rib, the top rib's a six, six mil uh, with a game bead. Uh, rounded English sport of four end with hand cut checkering, nice, lovely. The wood on this is actually beautiful. Um, the action, as I said, is a new design uh, based on a, uh, a reduced height at 4 mil lower, um, lovely, uh, looks a lot like a 725 but isn't, dueling on the interior surfaces and then there's this engraving, it is uh, very modern in style and it's a very deep laser cut and then finished with these flash cuts but by crikey it does just look fantastic, the, uh, the acanthus scroll and the, the, uh, the game birds on the, on the side plates are just lovely. We've got a, as I said, um, inertia trigger, nice and crisp, teardrops, uh, auto safe on this one and then we come back to the grip. No palm swell, again hand cut checkering um, and then back to the stock we've got a relatively slim uh, game stock with pretty standard drop um, you can see it's kind of a game profile and then a pack my pad again excellent for recoil absorption. As I said before I've only had a relatively short time with these guns today but I can tell you my first impression is this is excellent, um, really enjoyable to shoot, not punishing at all, um, very very nice. Obviously um, with this nice engraving and the grade 4 wood, it's a little bit more expensive, it's uh, RRP 6200, um, which means you'll probably be able to pick one up for under 6k. Um, so, lovely, enjoyed shooting it, hope to do a full review maybe later in the season when we get into game season. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, please comment, subscribe, like, all that jazz, follow me on uh, Instagram at LodiP, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time for another of this series of quick looks at Browning.